Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. Where Wednesday means it is a knit along day <laughs> with Amanda and myself. Yes. And we have a couple of things to discuss we this do. morning. We First have... of all, let's talk about the chick in the room here. Yes, so it is past Easter. Oh, sorry, I moved him on you guys. But I have this little chick that I made. He's a yeah. little bit of a work in progress still. <laughs> I gotta find a beak. Um, so I'm gonna be working on him, but I'm super excited because he was pretty easy to make. Mm -hmm. I want Amanda to make one, but she said next Easter. Next Easter. I'm working, I'm still working on dishcloths right now. I got two done. I'm starting a new pattern that we just okay. realized I was doing wrong. Yep. And you said, just pull the needle out and start over, Amanda. Yep, just so that's fresh. where I'm at right now. <laughs> yep, yep. When she goes home, she's just gonna pull that out, start fresh, and then you'll have something really good to show us next week. But this is really cute. I love this. And then you were trying to figure out what you were gonna do with the beak here. So if anybody has any suggestions because you really don't want to have to buy like a big thing of felt of or felt. Yeah. yes yeah the pattern called for some felt I have um, a source that said hey I have some orange yarn maybe we can figure out something on yes. that but um, it's really cute you don't have to even put an egg in I have an egg because it's fun, yeah. it's fun yeah. but I some saw candy in there yeah you could put some candy in there maybe some of the grass the Easter yes. grass yeah. you could put in so I just thought it was cute and I had to uh, show it off didn't take me too long to um, make up so it's a good little Easter project maybe next year there'll be plenty of there'll be uh, lots of chicks chicks to go around and lots of candy inside yes. those little eggs maybe all right so <laughs> we of course have been calling for you guys to post onto our Facebook pages of what you're working on so we have a great one from Miriam this morning look at this hi my name is Miriam and I love the crochet granny squares I have granny squares all over and my thing and my hobby is, is to crochet all my granite squares. And I sew them all together and make great winter blankets. <laughs> She's so cute. Yes. I bet those are nice and warm. Yes, when she said winter blankets, We're gonna I need think them today. The one that and the granny square is just yeah. perfect for that. And you even see them on TV shows yes. in yes. the in the home. They're so, so iconic. Yeah, so I'm glad that that is her her hobby, her craft. Yeah, she's great at it, Miriam. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, and of course, we always love to see you guys posting what you're working on mm -hmm. on our Facebook pages. So continue to do that. You know, and and I think when we talk about knitting and crocheting, this is a, a hobby and a skill that a lot of people learned young. Um, when they were yes. kids, their parents taught them. I met the next generation of okay. crocheters yesterday. This was done in Finley at Liberty Bend Middle School. These kids are amazing, Diane. Yeah. They are making octopi. Look at oh these. Oh my god! Look at these for the babies at the <gasps> NICU. Because the little tentacles, the babies uh, yes. grab onto them and they're like the umbilical cord. Oh my god. And they're goodness. so comforting to them. These kids were great. They, uh, their teacher, Mrs. E, they lovingly call her, said, hey, who wants to do this? And a bunch of them signed up, and listen to this, they do this during their lunch break. Oh my gosh. They don't have home ec at the school. Many okay. schools don't anymore. And uh, some of the kids had some skills already. A parent taught them. Um, and some of them um, are learning. And those who don't have it quite yet are making these blankets. So they're flannel and they're uh, pinning them together and uh, they're knotting them together. Anyways, I'm going to put together a great story about okay, this after good. they drop the donation off at the hospital. So okay. stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. I was going to say, story. I want more. Oh, I'm going to give you more. Good. Yeah. And yeah. also, I'm excited about something I'm working on mm -hmm. is we are going to be calling for local yarn stores because local yarn store day is April 30th. So Coming we want to highlight all the fun activities that our local yarn shops are doing. The store owners or shoppers, let us know what activities you have planned. You have the email there. It's your day at WTOL.com. I'm going to put that full list together and I'm also going to be live at a local yarn store next Wednesday to ah, kind nice. of get excited cool. about local yarn store day. So make sure to email us let us know where you love to shop let us know what your what activities you've got going on yeah, um, yeah I got to put my shopping list together I think yes and I'm <laughs> like I said I'm gonna compile that list and make sure everybody has that for the 30th all right good stuff Diane well still to come